We're outside, we're filling it up for the first time. And basically, uh, since this is going to be tap water, it does have chlorine in it, so we need to make sure that it cycles uh, for about a month. Uh, first of all, for a couple days, so the uh, chlorine can evaporate. And then after that, we want to build up the natural bacteria. You can always get it kick-started with putting a little bit of compost tea in there and letting that cycle through a couple times. And that will get the bacteria just exploding, and that's what you need to actually grow. So as you see here, uh, we've got our water and it's coming out heavily here and then uh, since it's running to the end over here uh, it's running a little bit slower and the great thing about that is is that when it is filling up this one will drain first and then this one will drain second uh, after the siphon works so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we always have plenty of water in our fish tank all right, when you're looking at your aquaponics first fill, the first thing you need to do is you need to check all the joints to make sure that there's no leakage, okay? If there's leakage, then you wanna find out where it's leaking. So you check all the joints, make sure that it's not leaking. And if it is, you need to tidy it up a little bit. Okay, so we don't see any leaks thus far. None on the uniseals, which is really good. Let's see how it goes. Hoping that it's pretty close to being able to siphon. If not, we're going to need to adjust our siphon here. So um, what we're waiting for is to see if it actually sucks it down. If it starts to almost overflow, then we need to just cut this drain pipe here. And uh, we need to make sure that the slits are on the bottom so that it has the ability to suction. And there's nothing better than the sound of just the mini waterfall that we're creating. Now there we go. Actually, wow, this one here is already creating its siphon, okay? The, so right here, here is our first siphon right here. That is a beautiful thing. And the great thing is, is it's coming right down into the fish tank, so it's creating aeration to make sure when the fish are in there, they have plenty of oxygen so they're happy. Wow, that's awesome. So this one actually already started to cycle. So we might actually have to lower this a little bit to make sure that it drains all the way, so we'll see. Is siphoning all the way down here so we're doing good on that and you see here we got the continuous siphon but if this one here doesn't stop soon it might overflow so we're definitely probably gonna have to lower our standpipe here so it looks like it's starting right here looks like it's starting right. is it gonna be enough in time that is the question it's gonna be enough in time all right, so got them both going here. Full blast, that is a beautiful, beautiful sight. Look at that, look at all that aeration in there. Both going. Okay, this one here, we're gonna have to see if it goes down enough so that it doesn't overflow. You see, this one is almost done with its cycle. This one is almost done with its cycle, and it's almost down to the bottom. So this one is working really good. We just gotta see how this one works right here, though. Okay, and is our bed gonna overflow here? That's a question. Okay, so it looks like our tank's gonna overflow, so we gotta get some of that water out of there. <laughs> that's awesome. See, that's the great thing about doing your trial runs and getting everything to work correctly. Okay, so we got an overflow. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful water. So get some of that out, because we don't want that to happen when we got fish in there. <laughs> that's beautiful. This is beautiful. All right, as you see, this one here pretty much got all the way to the bottom. So this is where it stopped, right here. Okay, so that's where our level's gonna be. And then it's gonna start to fill back up. This one here is draining. And so we're gonna have to get this to a happy equilibrium. We're probably gonna have to trim this one down a little bit. And basically all we gotta do is cycle it to make sure that it works great without overflowing like this. 
without having too much water in there, but that is a beautiful thing. Look at that. That is a beautiful thing. And we also got a puppy out here taking a sun bath. Oh yeah, daddy. Thank you guys for joining us on our aquaponics adventure, our journey to be able to be self-sustainable, to be able to live a greener life and to be able to have cheaper food that doesn't have to travel millions of miles to get to us. So thank you so much for watching. We're gonna have a whole series of videos on cycling this and getting it up and ready. And we just wanna thank you so much for watching with us. So if you get a chance, please give us a big thumbs up for our aquaponics build. Also, if you get a chance, please uh, favorite, please like, please tweet, please pin, subscribe, throw it up on Google Plus and Facebook, and share the knowledge so that all of us can have green lives together. We'll talk to you soon.